Thailand. Hey guys and welcome back to Economics and Comics. So it has been a crazy day. I have a story for you, but I wanted to talk to you about um, grading comics. So I just kind of wanted to give you a brief explanation about the colors of the grading systems. I want to talk about CGC grading and CBCS grading and how they can help you with your books and how they both differ in regard to signed books. Um, most of it's pretty similar, but I figured I'll give you a quick lesson on grading companies and how they do it. Before I start though, I wanna tell you about what happened today. Uh, a viewer that I've known for a long time came over to buy some comics for me. And when he left, he got hit by a drunk driver. Um, he got rear-ended, basically totaled the car I feel really bad about it. So um, <clears throat> he asked if I could give him a ride home. And I said, okay, and it was late at night, so I picked him up. I was really hungry, so we stopped by McDonald's. And we were leaving, and I got to the light, and I was gonna do a U-turn. And um, right before I turned, two people had a head-on collision, uh, collision right in front of us at like 65 miles an hour, and the other guy's probably going about 40. Um, and they just played chicken and they both lost. And it was insane. I mean, just so close to another accident. He just got in a, hit by a drunk driver. And then I, we almost got hit by, it's just so weird. I thought I'd share that with you. Sorry, man, I hope you're feeling okay. So, um, I just had to get that out because it's so weird. So anyway, this is how it goes. You get a book. Let's pretend your comic book is not signed. It's just a comic book and you want to get it graded. You can send it to CGC or CBCS. Let's start with CGC. Um, first, if you get the comic graded and everything's fine with it, it's going to come back like this. That is a blue label, which means blue is fine. It's going to tell you everything about it. Basically, I'm telling you about the label coloring first, so you know if you're buying or anything like that, what you're gonna get and what to look for. So the blue label is what you want first. And sometimes it looks like I'm looking over here. I don't know if that's backwards. It's weird because the camera, the, I need to look over here and that looks like I'm looking right at you, which is really weird, it's hard to do. So whatever. So now, if you get your comic book signed and witnessed by someone from CGC. If you go to a Comic Con and you go to the CGC booth, say you want your book signed and witnessed, they'll come witness it and you'll get a CGC witness label, which is this, and it's yellow. And they authenticate that they were there witnessing it being signed and you get the yellow label. Now, if you get a book signed without a witness, and you send it in, and it's signed on the cover, or the back cover, you're gonna get a green label. Unfortunately, people don't like green labels. I like getting my books signed raw. Some people don't, I, I, get, I do both, I get them witnessed and whatever. But I never sign a book, or I never send in an unwitnessed book, because I'll get the green label. The green label just basically says, look, this person's name is written on there. We can't authenticate it. Okay? And then, and, and then spare with me because I'm going to tell you something else about this, which is interesting. Um, well, actually, I'll tell you something interesting now. If, the, which is really weird, if you get the book signed on the inside cover, okay, on the first page on the bottom, not the cover page, but... The first page on the bottom, where the, where the comic book starts, pencil, pen, whatever, they will write on, they'll give you a blue label, which means it's fine, and someone signed on the interior, and they'll put the name. So, it's funny, they won't give you a green label, which means unauthenticated, not authenticated, they'll give you a blue which is a regular grade, which is great, 
and it says signed in the inside cover or whatever. So that's something to think about. That is a trick away around getting the green label. You won't get a yellow label, but you'll get a blue label and it will say signed by whatever inside cover. Very interesting. And I think it has to do with 20 years ago, 30 years ago, these artists would sign on the inside cover. And they just, over time, decided to give it a blue label, not a yellow. Regardless, that's something interesting. And you'll see those out there. Um, the last other color label for CGC is purple. And purple means that something would happen to the book. It was restored, someone colored it, or whatever. And most people don't like restored books. And so, because someone added a page, or added a piece, or colored it, or whatever, did restoration process. Now you can have these companies unrestore it. They will, everything that was restored, they'll take out. The, it costs money, and then they'll grade the book and it will be a normal book. But you're gonna get a way lower grade, and it's a lot of money. So, now I'm gonna talk about CVCS. So if you guys didn't know, BGS or Beckett, the people that grade baseball cards, coins, they're very prestigious. If you get cards done, baseball cards, you always wanna send to Beckett. And PSA will be like number two. But Beckett is the one you do. BGS bought CBCS. So now CBCS is in the running to compete with CGC, okay? CGC is basically the best. Okay, let's, let's move from there. I think that they're kind of equal, but this is how CBCS does theirs. They have their regular grading, but I'm going to talk about sign books, which is interesting. CBCS is offering this, and I think it's very cool. So first of all, you have the yellow label, like CGC, but CBCS, which is witnessed. And that's great. <clears throat> they offer that service, and that's great. You would love that. But if your book is not witnessed, you can send it in, and they have something called the red label, and they authenticate the signature. CGC does not offer that, but CBCS does. And I think it's because Beckett bought CBCS, and they do stuff like that, authentication and stuff like that. That's what they do. So they're off that service now, we authenticate that this signature is real, but they're going to give you a red label. And, you know, people might be turned off by a red label because it's red. What does that mean? Red, red. But it has been authenticated. It just has not been witnessed. So it's kind of cool. It's really cool. CGC does not offer that. They will not authenticate a signature. They will only give you a yellow label at CGC if they witness it, okay? But CBS, CBCS offers both witnessed and unwitnessed authentication. I don't know why I can't say it right now. Anyway, now they also offer an art label, and that's this. CBCS offers this, and it's basically, let's say you get art done, and you don't want it to be graded because maybe there's a little corner crunch or something that you know won't give you a high grade. You can get it slabbed as original art, which is kind of cool. Now, if I don't remember correctly, I think CGC might offer that, but I'm not 100% sure. I just wanted to tell you about it right now. So, the keys, I don't want to talk about pressing next, but I want to talk about the keys of what I just told you. CGC will not authenticate an unwitnessed comic book. CBCS will. If you get a if you get a signed book sent into CGC and no one witnessed it, you're going to get a green label. If you send it into CBCS and they didn't witness it, they will authenticate it and give you a red label. Weighing those options. So if you want to sign in or, or, or send in a signed book, 
that no one witnessed, send it to CBCS. That's all I'm going to say right now. Send it to CBCS because they will authenticate it. And that's what you want. Okay? That's the first thing. Even though it's a red label, it's still authenticated. It'll still be graded and all that. Now, if you want to work CGC system, you can have the artist, and you don't have a witness, you can have the artist sign the first page on the bottom of the first page. Send it in. They'll grade it as a blue regular label, and it will say signed by whoever on the inside page, and you will not get a green label. That is so weird. Now, if you have the option, and you're at a Comic-Con, and there's a witness there, CGC or CBS, you go with whoever. They're going to witness it. You're going to get a yellow label, okay? I just wanted to get past that. So you guys understand your options in regard to grading, how, what these two companies offer, and where to go if you have, like for instance, this. No one witnessed this, except me. I mean, I have COAs and stuff. Doesn't matter with CGC, they don't care. They will give me a green label, and I don't want that. So if I was gonna send this in, I could send it in a CVCS, they would authenticate all the signatures, they would grade it, I get a red label, at least it's authenticated, okay? So let's move on. I wanted to talk about pressing. A lot of people think that pressing is restoration. And guess what? They do not consider it restoration. So I would always advise someone to have their books pressed before graded because it will get all those imperfections out. Now, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So. A corner crunch. Now I took this picture from CGC website. It's the before and after. See what a press will do? It's like a brand new book. That corner crunch would kill that grade. Or bends, the corner bend like that, it'll straighten it out. Spine dings along the spine. As long as the spine dings don't break the cover, or excuse me, color, like if you see white on the cover, because it the, tore through the cover a little bit, um, then you're good to go. You get those all fixed, it's like a brand new book almost, as long as there's no color break, okay? Now if it's color break, it's gonna hurt the grade quite significantly. Wavy books, like severe waves. Not here, just a normal average wave, but severe waves. It'll press that out. Now, I don't know how they do it. I know they use a press machine. It's similar to something that you would use when you get t-shirt designs pressed on your shirt or whatever. Similar to that, and I think they use liquid, a little bit of spray water, certain degree of temperature, depending on the age of the book, and it presses all. It's like magic. I would love to learn that. And spine rolls, for instance, this spine roll right here, um, it'll get those out. So you can turn a book from a 6 to a 9, like in an instant, or a 9.2 to a 9.6, or even better. It just depends on what's wrong with the book. So it always suggests getting it pressed. Now you can press your books with CGC and now CBCS. Um, I mean, there are other companies out there that will do it for you that aren't attached to those companies. But I would recommend if you depend, if you're, this is my personal view, if you want to get it done right, you send it to their pressing services. Because I feel like they know, oh look, that guy spent that extra money to get it pressed. The book's good, we're going to give it a good grade. You can always take the chance of getting it with a pressing service outside of the companies, and that's fine. Maybe it's cheaper. You get them all pressed, then you send them in. Here's my thing with that is, after the press you get from someone outside of those companies, then you send it in. It's handled a bunch. You know what I mean? It's handled from shipping. It's damage could happen. And time. Time can make these things maybe come back. So what I would do is send it to the company so you know it's directly from the press, directly into the grader's hand. There's no five different middlemans before you get there. So think about that. And if you send enough, you get discounts and stuff like that. So, uh, all these images and everything were taken from CGC and CVCS websites, and I wanted to say thank you. Um, I'll even put the links in the description so you guys can go check them out for yourselves. Um, and that is my kind of quick tutorial 
on the two major comic book rating companies that are out right now. They're both very good. Um, I've got stuff from both. Um, and hopefully this information will help you guys and I hope you learn something. So just so you know, uh, we're almost to 300. So someone's gonna be announced in the next couple of days uh, for the 300 uh, winner. Go to the playlist called Giveaways. Um, enter there. They'll tell you everything about all the giveaways. There's other giveaways. Um, and that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching. You guys have been really cool. I hope everyone's happy. If you need anything or want any other questions answered, let me know. Okay, have a good one. Bye-bye.